Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In this session, I am going to explain frequently asked interview programs on Java 8 Stream API. These are the five programs I am going to cover in this video. First problem statement is write a program to print employee details working based on each department. I already created one employee class inside the employee class. The variables are employee ID, employee name, department ID, status, the status default value is active, salary and I already added setters and getters and parameterized constructor. Finally, I added two string method. Inside the main method, I created one array list and I added some values to the array list. First parameter is employee ID. Second parameter is employee name. Third parameter is department ID. Fourth parameter is status. Fifth parameter is salary. Now we are going to see the first problem. Print employee details working based on each department. Employee list dot now i am going to convert into stream api dot for collecting i am using collect collect that means one method that is collectors dot group by inside the group by i am going to get the department id i am using method reference employee colon colon get department id after that i am going to store the in in the format of list elements for that i am using collectors dot to list now i will store this values in map map of e type is integer the values of type list of employee the variable name is employee list based on department now import the map from java.util package now i am going to use employee list based on the department dot entry set I am using for each loop inside the for each loop I am taking one reference that is entity inside the entity I am going to print the values system.out.println department entity dot get key plus entity dot get value now save it and run the java program run as java application Now we are getting department and employee details. One not one department having two employees, Sai and Raj. One not two department having two employees, Bob and Mike. One not three department having three employees. John Kumar Raj. Our next problem statement is print employees count working in each department. Now I am going to use employee list object dot I am going to convert into stream API. For collecting I am using collect collect 
inside the collect i am using collector dot grouping by inside the grouping by i am using the method reference employee colon colon get department id after getting the department id i need to count the values for that i am using collectors dot counting method finally i am going to store these values in map e is of type integer value is of type long the variable is emp count dept now i am going to print the values emp count dept dot entry set for each method inside the for each i am using one reference that is entity inside the entity i am going to print the values system dot out dot println department dept dot get key after i am adding some space for that i am adding equal to entity dot get value now save it and run the java program we are getting employees count working in each department 101 having two employees 102 department having two employees 103 department having three employees our third problem statement is print active and inactive employees in the given collection we are going to print the count of the active one inactive employees from the collection for that i am using employee list dot i am going to convert into stream api i am using filter inside the filter i am going to take one element that is e i am going to pass the string here the string is active equals equals method i am going to get e dot get status i am going to get this status from the employee object if active equals to the get status i am going to find the count value for that i am using count method after collecting these values i am going to store in one variable that is of type long active emp count the variable name is active emp count in same way we are going to filter the inactive status count for that i am going to change inactive variable name is inactive after that i am going to print the two values active emp count value and inactive emp count value system dot out dot println active emp count dot out dot println inactive emp count 
Now save it and run the Java program. Here you can see we are getting the active EMP count is 4, inactive count is 3. For better understanding, we add some string. Now save it and run the Java program again. Now active EMP count is 4, inactive EMP count is 3. Our fourth problem statement is print maximum and minimum employee salary from the given collection. For that I am going to use employee list object dot team API. After that I am using method called max. Inside the max I am using comparator comparator dot comparing inside the comparing I am pass the method reference that is employee colon colon get salary in the salary I am going to store in one variable it will return the optional class variable is emp1 import the optional from java.util package same way we are going to find the minimum instead of max we are using min and we are going to change the variable name emp1 to emp2 print the maximum and minimum values for that i am using system.out.println emp1 system.out.println emp2 now save it and run the java program again now we are getting the maximum salaries 6000 and the minimum salary is 2000 in the values you can see these are our elements the maximum salary from the array list is 6000 that is bob the minimum salary is 2000 employee name is sai this way minimum and maximum values are we are getting in console our last problem statement is print the maximum salary of an employee from each department here i am going to use employee list dot i am going to convert it into stream api i am using collect collect having one convenient method that is collectors dot grouping by inside the grouping by I am going to pass the method reference employee colon colon I am going to get the department id after getting the department id I am using convenient method that is collector dot reducing inside the reducing I am going to pass the binary operator with the help of binary operator we are going to find the maximum salary for that I am using max by method inside the max by method I am using operator dot comparing 
I am going to pass the method reference employee colon colon get salary. Getting these values, I am going to store these values in one map. Map of type integer, he is of type integer, value is of type. It will return the optional of type employee. The variable name is top salary EMP DEPT. DEPT. Now I am going to print these values with the help of top salary EMP DEPT dot I am going to get the entry set for each inside the for each method I am going to take one element the, that is entity inside that entity I am going to print the values system.out.println employee salary column entity dot get value now save it and run the java program see the output we are getting the max salary of the employee from each department the employee id is 112 getting the highest salary from department 101 the salary is 5000 employee id 113 from the department 102 getting the salary 6000 is the highest salary the employee 115 from the department 103 department getting the highest salary 3600 in this way we are going to solve this all five problem statements thank you for watching for more updates please subscribe my channel